First, a Harbor Freight two foot long bar, and I tried the cheater pipe for another two feet. And, uh, and then I finally saw another video where they suggested using a strap and then wedging it with some wood, and I didn't have any wood handy. But due to the tight quarters here, what I did is I took this, well, first I tried this cutting board, which I thought would be sturdy enough, but it was not, and it was bending too much. So then I got this really super thick cutting board. It's probably three-eighths or maybe half an inch. And I also turned it uh, lengthwise here so that it's applying all of its pressure onto the corner here where I know there's a, a stud. And uh, that worked perfectly. With the uh, two-foot extension bar, I was finally able to break this thing free. It's still tight, but it does actually move. So that's a tip for you how do you can get your uh, anode rod free. So after removing the anode rod, this is what it looks like. There was still material on there, but obviously it's heavily corroded. It doesn't look anything like metal anymore. And uh, you can see how short this one is. It's maybe under two feet. So the replacement that I have is substantially longer and should last a lot better. Here's the new segmented anode rod that I got from Amazon for about $30. You can see that it's roughly double the length of the previous one, so I'm going to put it in and make sure that it's not too long. I can always cut it off if I need to. Here's what it looks like after I've removed the anode rod and I used a uh, plastic brush to clean out all of these threads here. So hopefully that will work well with the new anode rod.